guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to see you. We're going to go ahead and get started in this tutorial and just launch in by putting some primer under our lovely beautiful dark circles and bags, especially for us mummies out there that don't get a whole lot of sleep. So we're just going to pat that in and let that dry. Then we're going to go in with MAC Painterly, which is a long wear cream eyeshadow that I actually just use as a base. So I just put it from my eyelash line all the way up to my eyebrow, so I cover all of that space. This helps with any discoloration and makes your eyeshadow last a lot longer. So it's a really good product. Then I'm going to show you just a quick little preview of all the eye brushes I'm going to use, and then you'll see how I use them as we go. So using the Naked palette, I'm going in with the shade Naked just to start out. I like to put this in my crease. This is used as a kind of a transition color, which means it's your base color, so it helps to build up colors on top of that so that there's no harsh lines and there's just kind of more dimension. So it's a really nice technique to do with eyeshadows. Then we're gonna go in with Toasted, which is kind of like a burnt pink. It looks a little different on camera, I will say, um, but I wanted to deepen the color a bit here and kind of go with some more pinky, um, nude smoked out colors today and this brush was kind of driving me nuts actually I didn't end up keeping it. It's the Sigma E40 which was raved about but I'm not sure that I got a real one so that went back. So then going in with this brush I will <laughs> link it down below and then this pencil brush I'm taking Hustle which is more of a smoked out deeper plum color and I'm going to smoke out the bottom lash line. Then going in with Sidecar I'm going to place this on all of my eyelid just up until the crease and that's where I'm going to stop because I just want that to be where the highlight is because that's where the light tends to reflect the best and then I'm going to give that a little bit of a, a swipe there and kind of blend it out as well so that it is going in with the more toasted colors better and then I'm going to go and clean this up with a more fluffier crease brush this one's actually from Sephora so that's going to help kind of smooth it all out together so here I wasn't actually very impressed with how Sidecar was turning out. It wasn't as bright as I wanted. I like much more contrast. It's just a personal preference. So I use Sin here, which is a more kind of champagne brighter color. Then going back in with Hustle, I'm going to deepen that crease because I just felt like, again, there just wasn't enough contrast for my personal taste. So of course you do what you love. And then I'm just going to add some more of that hustle on the bottom to help balance out deepening the crease up on the top. Then I'm going to move on to my eyebrows using Sephora's retractable brow pencil. I'm going to use the shade Midnight Brown and this really helps to really frame your face by filling in your eyebrows and helping to shape them and I like to just fill in any sparse areas. It really helps to complete the look and just really frames your whole face. So this is a trend that I really, really liked and have come to really enjoy. And then what I'm going to do at the end here after I brush it out is I'm actually going to measure it to make sure that I've um, made my eyebrows long enough on the end since you are kind of coloring things in. So I'm going to measure it from my nostril to the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's long enough. And this helps to really frame your face the way it kind of naturally would be. Then moving on to concealer, I'm going to use MAC Pro Longwear. This stuff is really good. It lasts all day and doesn't actually crease up on me. And I'm gonna pull that out onto the sides. This might look a little funny at first, but it not only helps to clean up all of that kind of smoked, blended out color, but after you've finished patting it in and blending it, it just kind of gives a nice cut crease look on the sides. So that's just kind of also just a personal preference and look. I'm moving on to eyeliner. Okay, this was a total gong show as you'll see, but I used a new pencil that I got for NYX because I wanted to try a cheap one. You can see the frustration. And no offense to this company, but this was cheap in more ways than just the price. The whole thing fell out and it was super dry and it tugged on my skin really bad. So I was really disappointed in this one here. So I moved on to this one instead, the black shimmer and uh, 9, 940. There you go. So this is a lot more creamy. Um, there's some silver flecks in it, so it is a glitter black. But I was I was at least able to get it on my eye without feeling I was like I was ripping off my 
eyelid skin, which is quite uncomfortable if you've ever experienced that. So again, I'm doing kind of a basic wing here, um, just pulling it out on the ends. It just depends on your eye shape. Oh, baby, don't take out my earring. And then we're moving on to the face real fast. So those are the brushes, and I'm going to use the Anastasia Contour Kit. And then using that middle bottom color, uh, I think it's Fawn. Um, I'm going to use that kind of as a contour color today, so I'm going to chisel out my cheeks a little bit to help just create more shape. And then again, I'm going to use it underneath my jawline to again create more shadow and less of a double chin, which is not my favorite. <laughs> but c'est la vie, it's okay. So then using, I'm actually going to take this blush brush from Real Techniques and swipe it across the whole bottom row with all three brown colors to kind of bronze out my forehead, my cheek, my, my, <laughs> oh my cat, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to help bronze that out and bring it all together. And then using the banana shade and the Sigma brush, again I will link that below, I'm going to help set the under eye concealer and brighten up my under eye area. And again going back with this blush brush, I'm going to use Secret from Bare Minerals and this is kind of a nice deep plummy color that I thought would match the kind of toasted pinky purple colors I use today, even though they don't really look like that on camera. So then once I have curled these poor little baby lashes of mine, I'm going to move on to some mascara. And I'm using just a sample size of Lancome Hypnose. And I really, really like this mascara. It's helped to actually lift my little lashes because some mascaras are just a little bit too wet and a little bit too heavy, so they'll usually weigh down my lashes and then there's just, it just doesn't do anything for me. So yeah, here <laughs> we're nursing the baby, multitasking, it's, it's a must. So again, um, going back with mascara, but a different one, I actually love this one for bottom lashes. It's called Big, uh, what's it called? Giga Black Lash <laughs> from MAC. It's um, just a really good bottom lash mascara that might see, seem a little high maintenance, but once you try, you realize how much that helps. It just separates the lashes really, really well with that tiny little brush, and the formula is really neat. Hi, BB! <laughs> and just helps to separate everything and does not clump unless you're in a kind of a dry area. I tried using it once with like AC blowing on me, and it clumped up really bad, so that does make a difference where you are. So I'm just going to clean up my lips really quick in preparation to put on this bad boy. This is NARS. I cannot pronounce that. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and pencil this baby in. I love these sticks because it's so easy to apply them. Like I said before in my previous makeup video, it's just like using a crayon. It's very, very easy. So I just wanted a soft, neutral, rosy look for today. And here is the final look. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching and being with Yvette and I.